Hey guys, Rob here, and in this video I want to go over how to use webhook fulfillment in a dialog flow agent and setting up your local machine for development. I'm making this video because I said I would over a year ago, and because I couldn't find a simple video explaining how to set up an agent to send requests to a local web server. So if you've been waiting this whole time, I apologize for the delay. For this video, I'm assuming you have a basic understanding of how HTTP requests work, and you've heard of some of the libraries we're using. If you haven't, it shouldn't be an issue to follow along, but you should learn more about the libraries if you want to develop feature-rich dialog flow agents. Requirements to follow along are Node, NPM, Express with the command line tools, ngrok, and a code editor. Assuming you've already signed up for Dialogflow, we'll start at the agent creation screen. I'll create a new agent from scratch and call it Webhook Test. With that done, I'm going to navigate to this fulfillment page. And what we're concerned with here is this URL field. Since we want this to be our server handling the requests, first we have to set up a local server. We'll do that using the Express CLI, and just typing in Express sets us up with a boilerplated Express server with a user's endpoint. Let's see a little bit more and get this started. Okay, so our Express server and user's endpoint has this preset code, and I'm just going to replace this get method the post and replace this static response with a console log of the request body. That'll be it there. And the last thing I want to change is the port that the server runs on from 3000 to 8080. run an npm install to make sure that the server has all the necessary dependencies it needs to run on my machine. And I'll start it using npm start. Now in this window, I'm just going to give the port to ngrok. And ngrok returns a URL via the HTTPS protocol that forwards all HTTP requests from this URL to my local host. I'll give this to my dialog flow agent. And when I save that, our fulfillment using a webhook is complete. Now we just need an agent. I'll create a new intent, call it webhook test. I'll only give a one training phrase, webhook test, and I'll set fulfillment to use the webhook. Save that. And when I run webhook test, we get an error because in my fulfillments page, I didn't actually set it up to use the user's endpoint. I'll make that change. Go back to my intents, back to my webhook test. Make sure everything's still good here. Now running one webhook test. The console log logs the incoming request body. And you can see here that the query test the query text says webhook test, and the parameters are null. Had we set it up with parameters, they would have also been sent with the request. If you want to learn more about what each of these individual fields means, then you could check out my first video on how to set up a basic dialog flow agent. That's it for this video. If you enjoyed, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you want to see anything else in dialog flow, drop a comment and let me know.